Shalom, this is Abik, back with another edification, some more content. I want to start off by thanking all of my subscribers. I see that I am up to 139 subscribers. My channel is growing as far as uh, subscribers go. I want to wish all of my subscribers high health and high spirits. And I wish that all of you and your loved ones are safe and taking the proper precautions against these agendas that are waged against us here behind enemy lines in America, a.k.a. Babylon. Okay, I want to give a shout out to um, a content creator that go his channel goes by the name of Accountable Commentary. I want to salute the um, the brother, the um, fellow Judai brother. His channel has excellent content along the lines of Kevin Samuels. And um, I want to also give a shout out to uh, Crimson Cure, um, as well as uh, this other channel called Love Africa. It, it's a, uh, a news network outlet that shows the recent turmoil between the nations um, as far as the United Nations uh, is concerned. Um, with this whole P. Diddy thing that's going on, I went and used some of that content from P. Diddy on my previous video, I believe it was, but I didn't want to go as far as the um as far as uh bringing bringing awareness to the situation that p diddy is in because i wasn't too concerned with his situation i was more highlighting his uh situation and using his situation to um support my uh subject or my or my my content okay so enough about Diddy. As far as his situation is concerned, it's a distraction. And we just had this hurricane come through. And there's a, a lot going on as far as um, what I'm thinking about is the one brother that was found deceased in North Carolina. And it seems to be a cover-up by the, uh, the Henderson uh, City police that'll be Vance County in North Carolina and um, you know we got the whole FEMA thing going on that said that FEMA claims they're stretched thin and they don't have the uh, emergency resources they're not they don't have the enough emergency resources to support the um, the tragedies that are that have uh, taken place around the um, the United States. But um, before I get into this content, uh, the, um, the, um, the Israelis were making threats at the United Nation. Um, the Prime Minister of Israel is Netan, not a Jew. Um, he's a warmonger and Ishmael, the so-called Arabs, the, um, Iranians and, um, the Le uh, Lebanon and all, and the, uh, the states or the countries of, uh, Ishmael over in, the, um, over in the Eastern Hemisphere were um, discussing a ceasefire uh, a few days ago at the United Nations. And while Ishmael was trying to discuss a ceasefire or if there was no ceasefire in the works, then Ishmael, I'm, I'm referring to Iran, was referring to, uh, was um was saying that things will escalate if there's no ceasefire. And then um, 
the representative of Israel, the uh, the Israelis, rather, was um, was making threats as far as consequences. So lately, there's been a tit for tat kind of missile strike taking place over in the eastern hemisphere between Iran and the Israelis. Um, I, you know, I never, I never believed those Israelis were the real, uh, the real Jews, but the truth is starting to prevail. And, um, within the next several months going into the new year and the next couple of years, um, America should see, a, um, the beginning of their collapse, you know, all praises. So I want to go into, um, I want to go into lamentations real quick before I get into this, um, this subject. Uh, this is lamentations chapter four and verse, um, 12. It says the king, the kings of the earth, Salakia. It says the kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered un into the gates of Jerusalem for the sins of her prophets talking about Israel, um, the so-called blacks, Latinos and native Indians which are the real Jews of the Bible and the chosen people of the book. It says, for the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her, they have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted them selves with blood so that men could not touch their garments they cried unto them depart ye it is unclean depart depart touch not when they fled away and wandered they said among the heathen they shall no more sojourn there. 16. The anger of the Lord, Yahweh, hath divided them. He will no more regard them. They respect not the persons of the priests. They favor not the elders. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. The vain help, right? The vain help. What is the vain help? Who is the vain help? It says, our vain help in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Okay? We have watched for a nation that cannot save us. So-called white America and their values cannot save the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. Keeping the commandments is the way to salvation. Um, on my channel, I promote the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel, the God of so-called blacks, Latinos, and native Indians. I believe the heathen Pope, the Spaniard, announced a one world religion recently.
And that's the works of the Antichrist. Deceiving those unbelievers, whether they're so-called black, Latino, Native Indian, Asian, so-called white, so-called African, the Pope is using falsehood to blind the people of all nations who are considered unbelievers. And this is this is this is a falsehood and a false a false um it's a falsehood, okay? So um I wanted to touch on that. And then, you know, I also promote that the men, the so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian men, especially the so-called blacks, because I'm so-called black, I encourage and promote and support the men and walking away and, un and unsubscribing from the Western woman. Historically, the Western woman has continued to separate herself from Yahweh, which is God, the Most High, and from the and from her place that the Most High God put her in as a wife, a lawful wife, a lawful woman, a lawful mother, and I and I'm I started to read from this other historical book that I have but I don't want to take up too much time in this video I think my previous video was uh, uh, two hours long so with this with this video you see Mary J. Blige right there I used to like Mary J.'s music you know she always had you know some some rhythm to her music and then she would be on her struggle love albums but i was watching accountable commentaries which is the brother ac <clears throat> he made a a video about madam cj walker and how she used products to start her separate movement with the with the so-called black woman during the time of Booker T Washington when Booker T. Washington was putting together or bringing together the so-called blacks for his economic solution or his economic revolution, his movement and the uh, uh, supported by the leadership of, of the, of the other so-called black man. So here comes Madam CJ Walker with her, 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 her hair products. you know, her hair products and then her skin lighteners, right? When I look at slave movies, to me, the so-called black woman, she looked way better when she was natural. In slavery, we had some beautiful women 
during slavery. I'm not I'm not referring to the oppression. I'm referring to how beautiful the so-called black women were <clears throat> when they used to be natural. So-called black women, some of these women are gorgeous, born gorgeous. Let me put this in airplane mode. Are born gorgeous and then they ruin their image with this beauty supply stores products from from uh from Miss Lee Ming, right? I could see if the usage of these products were to beautif beautify the, uh, themselves. Rather, these Western women are using the products to destroy their image. As far as I'm concerned, as a so-called black man, I've never admired the so-called black woman's um, synthetic products. In 2024 today, these so-called black women are unnatural. As far as their image is concerned, they're unnatural. They're like a forbidden fruit. Right? A seedless fruit. Right? The brother AC mentioned that these so-called black women never left the plantation and then they decided, the, the so-called black woman decided to change her image for the sake of the so-called white man, which is the Edomite. And I've, I've heard so-called black women mention that so-called white women want to wanna be like the so-called black women. And I totally disagree. I totally disagree. There were those cases where certain so-called white women would try to create some type of, you know, hue to their skin pigmentation. But then, for the most part, the so-called white woman she understands she will never be able to pull off the image or the the so-called she wouldn't be able to fulfill the so-called uh, blackness she wouldn't be able to ever become so-called black okay the so-called white woman she can admire the so-called black woman's natural beauty and she can, the so-called white woman, she can wonder why she's, why she lacks pigment. But so-called white woman will never be able to achieve so-called blackness, right? So I don't, I don't, I, I don't see so-called white women attempting to be so-called black as much as I see so-called black women attempting to be or attempting to blend in with being so-called white. I never did like a so-called black woman's hair falling down. I've always admired the so-called black woman's hair that grows up like a, like a tree. When you look at a tree, a tree reminds me of woolly hair, the way it grows out, right? Not down and droops, right? It's like the hair is falling like a waterfall. I never, I never liked, I never admired that look. I never, never, never thought to myself, I would love to have a woman like that. 
I've always admired, you know, the coffee brown type woman who had her natural hair and she can compliment her beauty with a little bit of um, aesthetics, right? The, the the scripture tells the so-called black woman not to bleach her hair, right? Blonde, blonde hair is a curse because it lacks melanin, right? So this so the so-called black woman when she when she considers herself successful, the first thing she does is is she alters her image and she begins to look like the so-called white woman. One minute. Here. All right. No. So lock you. One second. One second. Slovakia. One second. Second. One second, y'all. I'm gonna look for something real quick. You gotta hold on, man. Hold up. Hold on. What you trying to do? I gotta go get gas, I'll get it before I go in. Just hold on. So yeah. All right, I'm back. So um here leave that with me. So yeah, um yeah, the image of the of the so-called black woman you know, on, you know, ESPN news networks, you know, um, in corporate America. For me, historically, the so-called black woman has always attempted to blend in with trying to, trying to uh, pander or cater to so-called white America. You know, on this channel, the so-called black woman, she's she's up to be examined. She's not off limits to be examined. And I don't I don't give the men a pass. On this channel, the men are required to obey the law, statutes and commandments of the most high. And to keep the most high first and to keep themselves first as men and to keep their purpose first. That's keeping themselves first, their purpose. Okay. A man's purpose is not to be a simp or a sucker. And a, a, a so-called man's pers a purpose is not to support or finance the lifestyles of these Western women. I just watched a video where this so-called black woman was flew out to Puerto Rico and the so-called black man canceled her flight back to the States 
because she was trafficking her sex, which is a crime outside of Nevada, right? Those, those eight counties in Nevada. And she accused this man of sex trafficking once the man explained to her she had to find her way back to America from Puerto Rico because she refused to pop that pee. I believe he said, oh, you say that you're on your period. You know, I flew you all the way out here. And when it's time for you to, you know, give me that happy ending, you know, you're saying that you're on your period. So he dropped her off at the airport and said, you, you know, you can find your own way back to America. And she said, oh, what you, what you, what are you doing? You doing, you acting like this because I ain't have sex with you. And he was like, well, I mean, you knew what it was when I flew you out here. Right. And a lot of these women do know what they, what, 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 what it's about when they, when they trying to get flew out. It's a transaction. And that's why in my last, my previous video, I mentioned how if, if prostitution is illegal outside of those eight counties in Nevada, then how come I'm not seeing a lot more women imprisoned or jailed for trafficking their own sex? Because when I think sex trafficking, I'm thinking like kidnapping and, you know, a woman being um, sedated with a drug and being trafficked and being shipped and sold across the globe and waking up in a chain in chains or chained to a bed or something like 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 you know like they traffic children you know kidnapping right that's what i'm familiar with as far as trafficking goes but when I'm seeing these women taking flights and, and, and this encounter is based on transactions only, I'm wondering why aren't the women being imprisoned or jailed? Because that's prostitution. Now, the whole Diddy thing, the court's are basically saying he's a pimp if they're charging him with sex trafficking. And then you got these women that are fl being f flew up, uh, f you know, flewed out, <laughs> right? Flewed out based on a transaction, whether they're going to Dubai or whether they're dealing with some simp or some pervert or some John that's trying to fly them across the United States outside of those eight counties in Nevada, why aren't these women imprisoned or jailed? Why aren't the men, right? And I'm thinking with the with the with the the video that I was referring to about the Puerto Rico thing, I'm wondering, damn, you in Puerto Rico. Why would you wanna why would you wanna fly out one of these <laughs> raggedy so called black women these unlawful so-called black women in America when Puerto Rico should have some better, you know, women to choose from. But I digress, right? I got a few videos to show you and uh, I'm going to let this slideshow play, right? Right. I'm going to let this slide show play real quick just to show you, you know, the ugliness of this Western unlawful so-called black woman's image and how disrespectful the so-called black woman is. And this is why 
there's no structure and there's no and 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 the percentage of households don't have husbands and family structure in it because of the so-called black woman and her disrespectful spirit her disrespectful thought process and her and her her disrespectful um verbal abuse she won't subject herself to correction or change right so i'm gonna let this play a little bit right quick you see mary j blige um looking ugly like a like a like a ugly barbie and then you got this 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 ugly uh little wayne looking critter all right so here we go this now before this starts right here this gets into the unlawfulness of the Western woman, right? Because all of these women are unlawful, whether it's about, you know, the the synthetic uh, products, the usage thereof, or whether we're talking about the values, the lost values of these Western women and the unlawfulness of these Western women, all right? This is why I encourage the, the men in the West to avoid marriage, avoid impregnating these women, and avoid having sex with these Western women. If you're looking for a wife, you got to go out of the U.S. Like, shout out to the brother, Dr. B.O.A. All right. Shout out to Kevin Samuels, you know. He had his ways that he had to repent from as well but his content was on point as far as these western unlawful women go so I encourage the men to not to save themselves from these western women and not getting tangled up with these western women because they're trash okay the math ain't mathing with these Western women. They're foolish. If they can't find a man that's going to sponsor their lifestyles, then they rather not. They rather they rather not be with anyone. How foolish is that, right? They can't find a man that's going to finance a hundred percent of her lifestyle. Then she don't want to. She don't. She don't desire a man that can go 50 50 on things, right? So, how foolish is that? And then she finds herself 100% responsible for her lifestyle. How foolish is that? I think the Western unlawful woman should date other women since other women are the ones that agree with that lifestyle. Go get one of those. One of those transformer women that want to be the simp, like Debrat is being the simp for for Big Booty Judy, right? <laughs> I think I, th I think I think the women. I don't know why these Western women want to be so called black men. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why these Western women want to be us with. A so-called black woman. I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they see how the so-called black men are treated by so-called black women in the West. Why would you want to be us and we get dogged out? I watch some of these transformer men or uh, transformer women that want to be men at the bars. Sitting, sitting amongst straight women. When a bill comes, the bar, the, the the bartender or the restaurant gives the bill to the woman who's pretending to be a man, and she she's the simp. The straight women require the woman that's trying to be the, the man 
to foot the bill. Why would you want to be us, so-called black women? So-called black Latino Native American women. Why would you want to be the man in this current environment of these so-called black Latino Native American straight women? Why would you want to be us? Don't you see the way we get treated? We get treated like shit by these so-called women. Right? So this video that I'm about to press play on shows the unlawful woman. And watch what this brother has to say. Look at what he walks in on. Hey, yo, fair use. Fair use as well. This is fair use content for edification. Fair use. Hey, and look, he handled it like a G. There's a double standard when it comes to men dealing with multiple women. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't apply to the women in the West. Of, again, in, in the scripture, the women are the whores, the prostitutes are the whores, and the men who purchase sex are the whoremongers. So men, I encourage you not to be a whoremonger. Do not support or finance the lifestyles that these women decide to live. Now, these women are unlawful in the West because a divorce doesn't begin with the signage of a document that the state um, creates, okay? But the men are finding themselves walking away from these unlawful marriages with these unlawful women, right? A document does not mean you're married and it doesn't mean you're divorced, okay? So the Western woman, she's unlawful because her sex goes unchecked. And this is why the scripture puts these women on notice about their sexual encounters. These women do not regard sex as marriage and they do not regard sex as sacred. The Western woman does not um, put family first. She puts her relatives first, but she don't know how to start a family, right? The unlawful Western woman does not know how to start her own branch on a tree. You know how a branch looks and those little twigs start sticking out the side of the of the branch. There's a branch and there's a twigs and they branches off like a family tree. She don't know how to start a family. She don't know how to keep a family. The so-called Western woman does not refer to the so-called black man as her family. Right. I don't tell I don't say yes, ma'am, to a so-called black woman. I call her sis. But a, a lawful woman, I'll say yes, ma'am. But an unlawful woman, I don't say yes, ma'am. Because I never see so-called black women tell a man, yes, sir. 
All of these men are giving these women this utmost respect when the so-called black woman, the unlawful Western woman, she's disrespectful when it comes to their fathers, their husbands, the Most High, the Savior, Yahweh, the law, their place as a so-called black woman, Latino Native American woman. They're unlawful. And this brother, he handled that like a G. He didn't want to squabble with the with the with the with the Jake that was on the couch with his wife. He mentioned to the brother. He put him on notice. Hey man, it's my wife you with. He put her on notice. Hey, I want a divorce, right? Because she's because she's an adulteress, right? This is what you refer to as adultery. There's no such thing as cheating. Right? There's no such thing as cheating. There's only adultery. And, and this is why an unlawful woman and an unlawful man can hang out and blend in with so-called white America. Because so-called white America is unlawful and wicked. Right? And corrupt and polluted. Right? And trash. Right? The Western culture is trash. So-called black culture is trash. So-called white culture is trash. Right? I have anecdotal experiences over here in the West. And I, I'm blessed. I was blessed to grow up with both my parents. So I get to toot my horn when it comes to my father putting his purpose first, yo. And not allowing no woman to come first, okay? My father was a man, an upright, upstanding man. He was a survivalist, okay? And I consider myself a survivalist. The best thing I can do is be brotherly to my brothers and be brotherly to my sisters, those that keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High to the best of their ability, right? There's a lot of agents of white supremacy and feminism that still live from historical times, right? You had the the RAP, the RAP E of the so-called black woman on a plantation, but today She's willingly trying to attract a so-called white man with her image while she hides out and hangs out with the so-called black man, the Jake. Right? I could never find myself with one of these Western unlawful women that portray themselves as a Becky but considers herself a so-called black. I couldn't do it. I see the brothers finding themselves going along to get along with these Western unlawful women because there's children involved, but I, I tell these brothers all the time, man, forget those children by those unlawful women. Because those children are going to inherit the lost values of that unlawful woman. These, these men over here in the West would be lucky if the woman give the child his last name. These so-called Western women will be lucky if the child is, 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 is the child of the man that they assume it's from, the way they get down. You got pregnant women over here. Cardi B is another one. She's an outspoken uh, sex worker, former sex worker, whatever. But I know she um, threatened um, offset 
on the internet with with saying she will go out and have sex with another man and was saying things like, I bet you won't like it if I went out there and had sex with another with other men. I bet you wouldn't like that. And like I said, shout out to Crimson Cure because she she highlighted that. Cardi B was a sex worker before and, she, and her mindset has not changed. She makes threats with going back to her lifestyle and her ways. She threatens her husband with her lifestyle that she never gave up. This is why I encourage the men to unsubscribe from this Western woman, this unlawful woman. There's no way I'm going to tolerate myself being with a woman who makes threats about going back to her lifestyle. That means your the woman the, the the woman's mentality has never changed. If she's threatening to go back to that lifestyle. She was upset because the because Offset is having sex with other women. Well, hey, I don't know Offset's values and whether or not he subscribes to the law, statutes and commandments of his God, Yahweh. But polygyny is allowed. And she didn't and Cardi B, she used to do the same thing when she was a sex worker openly admitting that she allegedly used to rob men and drug men and steal and steal their their finances after she does whatever right so she didn't it didn't matter to her whether these men were married when she was out there openly engaging with these with her lifestyle she ain't care so hey what goes around comes around cardi right These, the, the you, you know, <laughs> there's more than, you know, a handful of, of these unlawful women. So I don't know what Cardi B expects from these women that are out here just like her. Now that she's married, how did you think those other women felt about their husbands having sex with you, Cardi? Right? So, you know, karma's karma's interesting like that so this brother in this video you know he had to you know he did the right thing because cardi can do the same thing but the only thing that offset is going to do if he's if he's in his right mind is he's not going to deal with her every time women subject themselves to that lifestyle of being an adulteress or a, or a, or a um a open sex worker, right? A proud sex worker. The men walk away. They don't subject themselves to this woman that decides to live this lifestyle that she decides to live. Can't threaten a man with, you're going to go back out here and do what you do best. You've never, you, you've never changed. You never stopped being like that. Instead of being focused on correcting her marriage, she's making threats like <laughs> like the prime minister Netan Netanyahu making threats to I Iran instead of reconciling some type of peace talk. You know? So that so the Western woman is unlawful. And even a so-called um, white man, he, he he's not tolerating this so-called black woman's disrespect and her disobedience. Because that's what these so-called black women in the West, they are. The unlawful women, they're disobedient and disrespectful and disloyal. They don't value family or marriage. And they don't value the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. They don't value Yahweh. 
Okay? They don't value their place that the Most High put them in. Right? So let me let me let me let me press play on this and show 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 this content. Check this out. See that? So, you know, Charleston White, when he's not in character, he's like, make you know, hitting a nail on the head. I've seen Charleston White talk crazy, and then I've seen the brother um, pull scripture. You know, he'll use scripture um, because, you know, the spirit of the Most High is in all of his people, whether they're um, conducting themselves appropriately or not, at some point, the scripture makes sense and speaks volumes to individuals, right? And he's right. The Western woman, she, the unlawful woman, does not add value to the to the to the uh, the man in the West because of because the values of the so-called west or, or the values of the western woman is trash and she's a consumer she's all about products and consuming you know she doesn't add to a man's value and at some point these men have to focus on their purpose and to um totally um abandon these uh, unlawful women and get back to their purpose so that they can leave the children some type of inheritance, right? Because the so-called Western woman is, or the so-called, uh, yeah, the so-called Western woman is not concerned with any type of wealth, right? So let me let me get into this this next video, and I'm a um, and I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I don't want to uh, be too long, right? And I, and 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 again, I, you know, I encourage you brothers to to keep yo know, keep the commandments, the law, statutes, the commandments of the Most High. I understand all of my viewers are not biblically inclined or considering themselves to be Hebrew Israelites. But over here on this channel, um, you know, I pull scripture and I and I and I edify. Uh, this is uh, Matthew um, chapter one and verse 21. And and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name. Yahweh Shah. For he shall save his people from their sins. His people, not everybody, his people. Um, it says, 22. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and she, and, and, uh, and Salaki, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us, right? Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had 
bidden him and took unto his wife and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Yahawashah. Okay. So, again, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments is 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 how salvation is rendered right and the most high encourages his people which are the so-called blacks latinos and native indians to keep the law statutes and commandments over here in the west again i feel my heart goes out to the men because nobody, the world does not give a damn about the men. And this is why I had to walk away from my problems in order for me to focus on a solution for how I'm, how I was affected by my problems, right? Instead of me going along and getting along with my problems, I decided to walk away from my problems and focus on the solution for myself. And as soon as I gave up on my problems and stopped trying to combat my problem, I started to work out my salvation, right? by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And that delivered me from my problems. Now I can focus on my purpose, right? I can't change the laws of the land. I can't change and correct the unlawful woman that decides to be unlawful and wakes up day in, day out and, and, and conducts herself unlawfully. Okay, I can't change this unlawful woman's thought process. Right? There's there's a there's a larger group of these Western women that do not allow themselves to be corrected. Right? Or changed. Right? Because they openly embrace the laws value systems of the West, whether it's feminism or whether it's being incentivized by the government to be oppressed or to separate herself from establishing a, a structure as a family with a husband, right? Celebrating paganism birthdays, holidays, and all that trash is what these so-called Western uh, Western women subscribe to. They don't subscribe to truth. They subscribe to foolishness. So this is why I encourage the brothers to separate themselves from this unlawful woman. If, if, if the woman doesn't uh, support you in being a father, then, then so be it. Walk away from those children. If you stuck paying child support, then pay the child support and walk away from the situation. You make out cheaper paying child support. I think 50 Cent was paying $20,000 a month in child support, paying his child's mother cash. And then he decided to go down to child support or he ended up on child support not sure how it worked out, whether the woman went down there and committed fraud with his information without his consent or whether 50 Cent put himself on child support. But however, it worked out better when he was on child support because the court, the judge ordered him to pay, I think, $8,000 a month or something like that. It was cheaper for him to pay child support. So these women that like to put men on child support or go down to child support and contract with these agencies... They, 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 the women receive less than they would receive if they stayed with the man, right? So the women are foolish in the West, right? They're very foolish. 
So men, again, save yourselves cuz I can't save you. I can I can I can I can lead you to the water, but I can't drink it for you. Okay? So you got to save yourself. I'm encouraging you men to s- stop dating these western women. Okay? Stop supporting the lifestyles that these western women decide to live. Stop being a simp and a pervert and a sucker for this unlawful woman and her situation. Establish your wealth and move on and serve your purpose and keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. It's time to it's 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 almost time to get out of here. Get out of America and America's on its way to being collapsed. Pay attention to the trades and the merchants and how the other nations are cutting off the supplies to 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 uh, to so-called America. I think on Amazon, all the Charmin is is sold out. My Ephraimite brother, my Puerto, my so-called Puerto Rican brother, sent me a screenshot of Amazon, and the toilet paper was sold out. They, you know, the so-called Edom, the so-called whites was buying up all the toilet paper when they went through that little COVID thing or whatever. You know, that pandemic. I believe all the toilet paper was bought out. So all of the inventory over here in America will be bought out. And then what? <clears throat> I encourage men to get their trust in order. Start a business, get an EIN number, get a tax ID number, get a trademark, get a service mark, protect your, the usage of your information <clears throat> so that these these agencies can't contract with these Western women and commit fraud with your information. All right. And conduct business so that you can leave your offspring some type of inheritance. Same way the slave master used to do his property with these with with human trafficking. <clears throat> gave the gave the slave his last name, branded some of them. They legalized slavery. He had documentation. The courts upheld his documents. The, the register of deeds did as well. He protected his his assets. And then when the, when the father the slave master died, the children inherited the estate and the property, which were the the slaves as well, right? You seen Django? You see how Leonardo DiCaprio had that that skull of of Ben, the servant, and he inherited the estate and the slaves as well, and then was and was threatening to bash Django's wife head in with the hammer, saying, "I can do what I want." Smeared smeared blood all over her face. Right? He was foul, but he was proven. And making a making a point that the the, the 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 humans was his property, and he can do as he will with the with 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 the slaves. And today we're still slaves because we're bond men and bond women. All right, like Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight states. Let me get that right quick. Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight. Okay. And then I'm gonna show this last video and then I'm gonna go ahead and sign sign off. Okay. Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty-eight. Okay. It says uh Salaki, let me see. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee un- into Egypt again, which is not so-called Africa, but so-called America. With ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more, so you won't see your homeland again. And there ye sh- shall be sold unto your enemies, which are the so-called whites, who are the Edomites, they they are, are they are our enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you 
bond men and bond women. How are we bound as so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians who are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible? How are we bonded to these so-called whites? Well, by birth certificates and social security cards. The women are enrolling the children into the system. Just pay attention to how the children are born and how the, how, how the mothers are signing the documentations enrolling the children into the system. That is how we are bonded to this jurisdiction of the so-called whites. Your birth certificate is your bond. Your birth certificate has interest tied to it. It's worth interest. It's worth, I'm going to say it's worth interest, okay? Your birth certificate has shares attached to it, like a stock share. The state that each individual was born in, the birth certificate represents the shares of the state that each person owns, so there's interest attached to it. That's your bond. That's what says that you are a U.S. citizen. Those immigrants that came to America recently, they went through the citizenship process. And then after X amount of days of, have, of, of, of um, receiving their citizenship, at, at, a later, at a later point, those same immigrants are not eligible for deportation no more because they're permanent party. Right? I would love to have an immigrant status instead of permanent personnel. I wouldn't mind conducting business over here like the so-called Arabs do, the, Ishmael, the Ishmaelites do. I wouldn't mind having business over here, but I wouldn't want to be permanent personnel. Permanent party, right? So for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you, buy you, buy you. All right. We have to be bought out. You have to pay your debts and dues before you can surrender your citizenship over here. So I like to study the scripture and meditate on the scripture and also like to study the laws of the land, which are not biblical. It's more contract law, just like Tyrese and how he's paying child support. His lawyer is not about to show Tyrese how to conquer and do away with child support because the lawyer profits off of Tyrese being in court, right? It's just like an injury lawyer. Injury lawyer enjoys a uh, client who's prone to injury because it keeps income in the lawyer's pocket, right? So, again, bond men and bond women, right? And unlawful women, right? And, again, you men rescue yourselves and save yourselves from this unlawful Western woman, all right? These, these women are, you know, you're not going to find a virgin over here. She may be young, but she's not untouched, right? You think Beyonce was a virgin when she got with Jay-Z? No, right? <laughs> Lisa Ray is on a dating show. She can't even find a husband. She, <laughs> these women, these, the, what's her name? Uh, the one woman that was on Flavor of Love, I forget her name. Her and K. Michelle. K. Michelle looks like she looks funky. She looks funky. K. Michelle looks funky. She looks like her pH is thrown off. She looks she looks funky. And they're on this show looking for, I don't I don't know, husbands, love, whatever. And these are some old dust buckets. 
They're not virgins, man. <laughs> That's why I say you men better keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Be converted spiritually, and you will start to see the world for its true color, right? You will start to see the, the, the true colors of this world. It's like that movie, They Live, right? With, with uh, Roddy Roddy Piper. Okay, so let's 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 check out this last video. I believe it's the last one, and let me you know just just show you how disrespectful this unlawful Western woman is, and how she she has no control over her children. Now here you have a squad car. And to the right of the squad car, you see the officers. The officers are uh, attempting to put handcuffs on this daughter of this so-called black woman. Now watch how this officer, because this is the body cam right here. Watch how this officer with the body cam um, talks to this so-called black woman mother watch this and watch what this ignorant unlawful western so-called black woman says right Now pause it. She he told her that her her behavior is the same as her daughter because her daughter was being disrespectful and loud and stuff at this establishment. They're at a hotel, getting kicked out because they were they were um they were they were um breaking the policy right. So he told her that you're acting the same way, and she said, "No, I'm not." And look. And you see how every time the so-called black woman, the unlawful Western woman, every time it's her turn to be accountable, she deflects. You know what I mean? I can win an argument with a Western woman, but I don't argue because um, I'm going I'm to keep it. I'm going to keep it all the way, you know, 55 below on, on this Western woman. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm stay 55 below on these Western women, right? But I can win at a, in an argument with a so-called black woman if I really had to engage in a, in a back and forth with one because it's no hold barred. The gloves is off. You know, anything is fair game. You know what I'm saying? There's no rules, okay? So if it's about cutting deep, then I can cut deep. You know what I'm saying? So if it's about going below the belt, I can go below the belt verbally. But I'd rather sit back and play the position as a man and keep it 55 below. But I noticed that when the police on these videos on the Internet, because the police have social media now, I noticed that the so-called black woman is belligerent. She's verbally disrespectful, disrespectful. She's disobedient and she doesn't listen and she doesn't follow instruction. Simple instruction, too. Check out some of these body cam videos of these officers engaging with so-called uh, uh, black women and how simple the instructions start off and how belligerent and disrespectful the so-called black woman is. And then the officers are forced to um, escalate the situation. I've had my run-ins with officers in in America but I'm 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 a military veteran so I've never had a situation go left 
because I've always conducted myself in a decent fashion, right? I've always conducted myself like I had some sense. I don't get loud. I don't get crazy. I don't get disrespectful. And I don't act like I can't listen. Okay. I let them talk and then we take turns talking. Okay. If I don't want to answer questions, then I let them know I don't answer questions. But I don't play them. I don't play that difficult hand and go there. Once they run my name, they're going to know I'm a veteran. So there's some type of, some level of, you know, courtesy that takes place there with the underlying threat, but I don't go there. So I don't escalate situations. I'm always fair. Okay. And I get treated fairly. Right. I bumped into my fair share, but it didn't go left. Right. I'm talking about fair share of bad apples, you know, but listen to how these so-called black women conduct themselves. It's almost like when we used to say the children of so-called whites were disrespectful and how can they talk to their parents like that? And, oh, my goodness, if I talk to my so-called black mother or my so-called black father like that, um, shoot, we wouldn't be alive, man. We, you know, they'd knock our block off, right? Things like that. But the behavior of the so-called black woman is becoming in the West, the unlawful woman. She's highly disrespectful and she does not shut her mouth and she don't know how to listen. She don't listen until the officers use force and then she starts listening. But she 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 don't quite all the way shut up. She still got that slick, that slick tongue and she still don't know how to comprehend and listen. Right. Because they're too outspoken. It's nothing worse than a woman that's overly outspoken right listen she didn't listen to nothing he said she's talking over him you know what i mean i don't see these women in these uh cop uh videos talk themselves into going to jail the officers give these individuals every opportunity to de-escalate and to avoid going to jail. Every officer is not trying to take somebody to jail. But I've seen these women be given the chance to de-escalate and to avoid a confrontation or being combative, to avoid all of this combativeness. And these officers have given these women every opportunity to 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 disappear and to and to and to and to not be arrested and and next thing you know she don't stop running her mouth and then the officers have enough of that and then she's in cuffs and then she's in jail right see that Ain't that, ain't that some bullshit? He's trying to hold her accountable and to get through to her, and she's avoiding accountability. She said, I can't control my children. And he said, that's because they act like you. That's because your daughter acts like you. You don't shut up. Your daughter don't shut up. They get it from you. The, 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 the Western unlawful woman, her children act like her. These children look up to their mothers and look down on their fathers, right? And the women, they don't fix that. They don't strive to change that, that view that the children have of their fathers versus the mother. The mothers, the Western so-called black woman does not change that view how the children view her versus view how they view the father. I don't come from that. Okay. My parents were equal. I didn't show favoritism. All right. 
I don't dishonor my father at all. Was he the was he the leader? Yes. Was he the head? Yes. Okay. Did my mother know her place? Yes. Did my father know his place? Yes. Okay. So I get to observe these um, the unlawfulness of these single mothers and how the women in the West raise these children as if the children are hers and not the seed of a man. And here we go with this upside down, inside out value system that's lost and dysfunctional with no structure. Now watch what she, I can't control my children. Okay, then the, the system, the system rather see these women with the children in the West. I just watched this, um, the first 48 and the, the, the officers were concerned about the father having the children. I noticed that. And a lot of these Western women who, who would make a good wife, a lawful wife, find themselves as a single mother because the Western culture rather uplift and up, uphold the women over the men because it's a strategy in the mind of the, of, of the, uh, of the so-called white culture. It's a strategy, Right? It's a war tactic to uplift and uphold the mother as if it's a as if the women and the children are more important than the men. That's a war tactic. And America, the so-called whites, perpetuate this tactic. And the so-called black woman, she does nothing to change that. A lot of these men in the West find themselves without their children. You know why? Because of this war tactic that white supremacy imposes on other cultures, other races and nations of culture, right? See, my culture is foreign to the so-called whites, and I'm going to keep it that way. So the so-called black woman, she always wanted to be hand in hand with the so-called whites. She does nothing to support fatherhood. She doesn't even attempt to fix the view that the children have of their father or the view that she has, the adverse view that she has with uh, about the men, right? She's ungodly. She's unlawful. She's disrespectful. She's disobedient. Okay? I see men falling victim to this tactic that the children come from the women and the women raise the children under a under a lost value with us with a with a skewed view of 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 men see women don't try to correct the view that feminism and white supremacy imposes on her she 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 won't separate herself from the view or the lens of white of so-called white america that how they view so-called black men this is why the women are upheld and she looks she she looks for protection amongst white america to protect her against the correction or the change that the so-called black man is imposing on her. She'll hide out with white America 
because white America puts her first. So she's the head of the household today in 2024. And it didn't just start with today. It's, it comes from slavery. And she, and, and like, and again, shout out to the brother AC on um, accountability, accountability commentary. Go check out his channel. This is brotherly love. You know, he's, he, he's, he's looking out for the brothers because nobody got our back but us. You know what I'm saying? I do my best to keep it brotherly with my brothers. I, I don't I don't go to war with my brothers. All right. I love my brothers, right? But I hate these unlawful women. I love my sisters, but I hate these unlawful women. And a lot of these lawful women that find themselves being in a household with an agent of feminine femininity or an agent of white supremacy in their in their mothers or an agent of adultery in their mothers, right? Their mother is unlawful, right? An ungodly mother, they find themselves being raised by an ungodly, unlawful woman, right? These women that would be the wives, the, the good wives, the lawful wives, the daughters, find themselves with these mothers that don't hold themselves accountable and don't respect the fathers, the men, the most high. And then they talk out the side of their neck. They say trash like, I can't control my children. And look, see that? Look. Talking about you can't control yours. Look at how she um she avoids accountability. This is the nature of the so-called Western unlawful black woman. Look. What I can do is be here for my motherfucking children. That's fine. You got me fucked up. Uh-huh. 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 See that? So that's what I'm saying about this Western woman, man. You know what I'm saying? You men, you brothers, man. I love you brothers. I love you sisters. I, I I do not give a damn about this Western trash, unlawful woman. She's lost. She's trash. Okay? And um, you men save yourselves from these women, man. Y'all got to come up out of that sunken place and realize that the so-called black woman has historically separated herself from the black fam the so-called black family the, the israelite law statutes and commandments she did that a long time ago you know what i'm saying she's 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 looking for a so-called edomite man or she's she's looking to compete in the workforce for a higher income of some sort. She's looking to destroy your fatherhood that you uh, desire to have with your child or your children. She's committing fraud with your information, contracting with these agencies and Title 4D and stuff like that. You men need to focus on establishing your yourself, right? Go start you a trust, man. You know what I'm saying? Get you a get you a trademark or a service mark, man. And then focus on the prophecies of the of the of the uh, of the Bible. Right? I I see it every day. Ever since my first video, I think I got like three over three hundred videos. But it, you know, day in, day out, since my first video, nothing has changed about this environment how it upholds the woman and 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 oppresses the father I, I i i do not see women fixing or correcting anything about their position and and taking accountability so they're in their sunken place these women are lost and that's why it's best that the men separate themselves from these women because you men are just as lost 
as these as these women. The children are being raised to be homosexuals, and the, and they're not going to be masculine or men or lawful, growing up under these these Western women. So save yourselves, brothers. I want to thank all of my subscribers. All right. I know I've been making content about this woman, but I, I I have to hold her accountable because she's she's at an all time low, and she's bringing too many men down with her. She's an agent of destruction. She's the strongest soldier in the so called white spiritual military. You men need to save yourselves from going down with her and her children. If she want to keep your children, then okay, let her keep them. Go make another family with a, with a woman from the Eastern Hemisphere. You got to get out of America to be a father and to be a husband. These Western women lead themselves, and they can't blame nobody because they don't listen to nobody. That's the worst type of woman that's unlawful, and then she makes excuses for her behavior and, and accuses um, anybody else besides herself for how things are going for her when she don't listen to correction or change, right? So with that, I want to say shalom. I want to thank all of my subscribers. My channel is growing. If you like, share, and subscribe, share the content, hit the like button, all right? I want to thank all of my subscribers, especially my 139th subscriber, I'm almost to 140. I would love to see 145, right, subscribers. Um, you know, save yourselves, brothers, from being a simp and a sucker. Do not finance the lifestyles these women uh, decide to live, all right? And I want to wish you and your loved ones um, a shalom. And um, I, I wish all of you are taking the proper precautions against these agendas that are waged against us behind enemy lines here in America. I, I wish all of you are in high spirits and safe. You and your loved ones. All right, this has been a beak with another edification. Hopefully someone has been edified. Shalom.